Hello learners, in this lecture we will see what is hidden or what is concealed beam in the construction. So these beams are provided whenever a wall is to be supported over a slab. So this hidden or concealed beam are provided whenever we want to put a wall over the slab. These beams are provided when we don't want to see the beams in the floor level but want a wall to be constructed over a slab. So what do you mean by this? See, you can see a beams here. These are two different types of beam. See, these are the beams, this beam what you can see and this beam what you can see, this beam what you can see, these are my regular beams, okay, which will carry the uh, load and it is actually provided to break the slab and also what will happen, it will transfer the load, this beam. But you can see one beam somewhere here and also there is one more beam here and also you can see here, they, they have provided one beam, this beam and all. So these beams are called as hidden beam or concealed beams. So actually why these beams are provided? Let us say once the slab is cast here, I want to construct a wall over this on this particular slab, then directly I cannot rest my brick wall on the slab because the slab will not be in a position to transfer the load. So if I put a beam something like this, the beam will be capable of transferring the load and that is the reason we put this hidden beam or a concealed beam. But actually it is nowhere written that a concealed beam or a, a hidden beam should be given. But it's a practice what we follow. But usually in the small local construction, you for, you you see this. Uh, when you go for a big, uh, uh, when you work for a big uh, multinational companies and all, we don't follow, uh, we don't believe in giving a hidden beam or a, a concealed beam. We always go with a beam something like this, and which is also the right way of practicing. This hidden beam and concealed beam usually we follow it. We see it in the local construction. Okay, uh, let us say you're constructing a small ground or G plus one house and you don't have any engineers uh, engineer involved in that the contractor himself will take the decision in that case you find this kind of uh, hidden beam in most of the big companies and all when we try to design it's there are very less chance that we give a hidden beam but if you give a hidden beam the main intention is only to transfer the load of a wall and all uh, to this beam that's it okay this is how a hidden beam is gonna look yeah so you can see it here as well, right? See here also they are given one beam. Here also they have given me one beam. Here also they have given one beam. Whereas this beam, what you see, this beam, what you have seen, no? This beam, uh, they are not hidden beam, okay? So when I say hidden, that means once you pour the concrete, even this beam also will be hidden. But in the floor level, this beam will be visible. Whereas in the floor level, this beam will not be visible because along with the slab, this beam will be uh, filled with the concrete so it's not visible but whereas this beam it's a normal primary beams what you can call uh, they are visible in the uh, floor level when you uh, see it right that's it so anything else yeah that's it so i hope uh, this hidden or a concealed beam uh, concept is clear so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you